R. Kelly's backup singers, the bitches that they are, must pay three million dollars for assisting in the fuck shit in Ethiopia. Pay at the door. There's so much more. But you know what it is. It's Tuesday. And it's time to review the Queen Supreme Court with Cortez. So, like I always do, I researched the co-host and I found Cortez on um, Instagram. Last night, before the show, he had about 4,000 subscribers. I always love the fact that Maddie does not... Um, always look at her co-judges as a opportunity you know what i'm saying like maddie can have the lonnie b's the super sense the new news um people with a large following to help help expand her brand but the libra that she is the kind person that she is she looks for she doesn't discriminate um against your numbers okay so maddie last night had on this uh black waiting wet and wavy hair this yellow glittery spandex dress looking so sexy and, and maddie 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 i hear you baby i hear you you are not lesbian okay you don't want no parts of a pussy i got it i got it cortez he reminds me of a youtuber by the name of a.r stringer um, they both have like things in their um, face like persons and stuff but I think my um, not disdain I don't want to say disdain but I think my negative opinion about you know persons come from my background and um, me being in a pseudo military um, industry for a long time you couldn't have all that shit in your face so when I see people with persons in their face the first thing I look at you and be like what job you gonna get nobody's gonna hire you with all that shit in your face right but then again I'm a 40 how hold am I god damn am I 48 I'm either 47 or 48 I don't know y'all y'all do the numbers I was born in 1971 I don't goddamn hey, know once you get past a certain age I, it, that shit is a blur to you, right? But um, it may be because I'm older and uncool. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, people say I'm cool, but that's just because I dress pretty cool. But other than that, I'm telling y'all, I just want to go in the house and fucking eat graham crackers and lay in the bed and watch TV shows. So, let me say this about Cortez. About 6 minutes and 14 seconds in, that nigga was ready. But then, about 57 minutes and 13 seconds later, his ass was asleep. I found out Cortez is not a drinker. Listen, 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 listen. For co-judges, from now on, when you're not a drinker, don't do it. I'm not a drinker, guys. I'm not a drinker. But if you're not a drinker, don't drink that shit that Maddie be giving Just tell Maddie, Maddie just pour me a fake drink, okay? And I'll drink that fake drink and trust me, I'll get it popping in here. But just because Maddie pour you the Bacardi, nigga, Cortez, say no. Say no. It's okay for you to say no. But that Bacardi was not working with his ass. His ass was like this. The whole motherfucking time. I mean... The whole goddamn Let's time. Let's get into the docket, right? So, we're going to say rest in peace to George Bush. May you rest in Cracker, Florida heaven. Okay? Because we know that Florida is, I don't know, some kind of mystical place where any goddamn thing happens. You hear me? If y'all old enough, do you remember when the Bermuda tri the Bermuda Triangle was like this mystical place where ships and people disappeared? That's fucking Florida. I'm telling you, any goddamn thing happens in Florida. Florida is the is is the most trivial. I don't know what the fuck is going on here now. Place in the entire universe. They create. Man, I don't know what the fuck is going down there in Florida. All I know is I've been there once or twice, and I ain't going back. Fuck that place. I might not yeah. come home. Maddie shows this woman who is teaching her daughter how to pick pockets. And steal purses. I was like, what the fuck? It was like, this dumbass bitch didn't even know that they was taping her. Okay? It was her. I think she had three kids. And, like, the little girl, she was pretending she was on the phone. Because just in case, so 
some people, you know, see her or watch her and be like, why you didn't get your daughter? She could be like, oh, she's a kid. She don't know what she doing. Oh, she know what she doing, bitch. Because you taught her how to fucking do it. So then we get to R. Kelly in Ethiopia. Singing to these fucking young teenage girls. Back with Rob to America. Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America. America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? giving this ticket to R. Kelly. I'm going to give this ticket to the goddamn bitches in the background singing come with us to America. Bitch why you going to be condoning this fuck shit? You know R. Kelly back there in America humping and bouncing all over teenage goddamn girls spitting on them and, and all kinds of other wet juice all over them damn girls. And your ass going to back up that shit? Do you have your passport? Bitch. All of R. Kelly's backup singers, the bitches that they are, must pay three million dollars for assisting in the fuck shit in Ethiopia. Pay at the door. Next thing we're gonna get to is Funky Dineva. And now we find out why the hell Funky Dineva did that damn uh, apology video. Uh the beehive attack. So then we have a trans woman that was violated in the bathroom at her school. So let me let me say this about trans women being in the um, bathroom. Okay. Trans women don't want your pussy. If it's a, a trans woman in the bathroom, I don't care. Pee, motherfucker. Pee. That's all you want to do is pee and wash your hands. However you do it. Standing up, sitting down. I don't freaking care. Because they don't want... Say a uh, situation where they was talking about the grandmother that was booked and they thought that she was a trans in Florida. Didn't I tell you Florida? It's always Florida. It's always something wrong, something going down drown there in Florida. You hear me? It's something drown there. Okay, you I, fuck Florida. So then we get to Southwest Airlines where they apologize for making fun of a little girl's name. Her name was spelled A B C D E. But it was pronounced, how was this shit? Absidy. Okay? So let me give these bitches another ticket. Uh, Southwest Airlines, you are being fined $7,000 for making fun of this little girl when y'all don't have one, not one, fully working plane. But y'all niggas stay in the sky. Pay at the door. Heard, uh, Tony Braxton said, talked about her alimony payments on the red talk table. Now let me tell you something. I was like, why is she why is she stay fucking that dude Terry? Why she stay fucking her husband? You know why? Cause she a Libra and she pulled some Libra shit. Let me give him some pussy. Then that way he won't expect for me to give him no money. And her dumb ass being a Libra. I swear as Libras, we be doing some dumb shit. Cause you know her husband, um, Terry left mint condition to manage her. Ugh. She probably was like, please, awful love. If you come manage me, then I'll make sure that if something happens with us, I'll pay you for three years after the marriage. You fuck up. Oh, God, Tony Braxton, you fucked it up for us. Now the women are making money. But this is now the time of the bitch-ass nigga. The bitch-ass nigga who expects to be paid instead of going out there and working. You know, like me. I, I, I mean, it's like... Marion Kardashian is the new come up. You know what I'm saying? Like me, if I was a dude, man, I would find every fucking, I would get every Kardashian fucking pregnant. You couldn't beat me off them bitches. I have put so much sperm all over them girls. You would think it was a goddamn crime scene and I ain't even playing with that. You have a baby by a Kardashian, you'll never be broke. So anyway, let's do this. One gotta go right and they did comedians this time good job good job good job but they did eddie murphy jamie fox will smith and martin right i love all these guys but um maddie broke down to if you took them away you had to take all their work away all right 
and Eddie Murphy, me and my wife was just laughing at 48 hours the other day. That shit was hilarious. Um, Jamie Foxx, uh, Will Smith, y'all know I think Will Smith is the sexiest Libra in the world. And Martin's my hometown guy. There's no way that I would ever get Martin out. He's friggin' hilarious. So I would say Jamie Foxx gotta go. Y'all, who would have to go with you? Now, remember this, the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one.